Oh, hey, my name is Hui. I'm 22 years old. My name is Tu Nguyen. My name is Charles. I'm 22 years old. My name is Tu. I'm from Vietnam. Hey, hey. Mina Olen Ang. I am you. Uh, I'm 20 years old. Hello, my name is uh, Hiu. Now I'm second year student at St. University of Applied Sciences. I study IT major. Uh, environmental chemistry for my first year. I'm studying nursing in Centria. Business management here in Centria. I'm studying uh, chemistry uh, chemistry from second year. Uh, my major is business management. Environmental chemistry and technology. First things is like the, the class is not a lot of people like in other programs. Like we have only like 17 or 18 students in class. I study in international group. So I met a lot of people like they from China, Nepal, Nigeria, and Nebraska. That we can focus on um, what we get in uh, each subject, not uh, instead of um, great like in Vietnam. It's more modern and practical way of uh, education. Like in Finland, they have more. Uh, they are in the top ten of the world best education system. So why not? About learning the project, um, we had to gather as a group and gather the information, and we had to work on our own just from the beginning until the end, from the choosing the topic, doing the experiments in the labs, and um, visiting some company or factories. And uh, one of my most uh, nicest, no, nicest memory in law school is a trip to visit the industrial park in Kokkola. Um, we have chance to um, explore the, the factories and machines and how they work and they present us about the chance we have when we, after we graduate from law school or what, should we, what, what can we do with our major and that helped me a lot. Yes, I love Shadria. <laughs> the teachers here, they really respect the students and uh, the other in the other way as well students and teachers they are same level there's no there's no big differences they are really kind and nice and helpful and they help me a lot whenever i make questions even how stupid it is they still answer me really enthusiastic they can spend like an hour with you until you figure it out how what is the matter and like you don't afraid when you mean it again. Do you, have, you are not forced to go to school every day. You can either choose to stay home at home, revising, or you can go here anytime you want. That's a good thing. We have we have to show our ID cards, our student cards, in order to get into our university in Vietnam. So it's a big difference. That's that is one of those. And also the uh, facility here is very really modern, I can say. Everything from the uh, computers, media rooms, they are very well equipped. That's really impressive. We don't have that in Vietnam. So in my first time when I saw our school laboratory, I was, wow, oh my gosh, I love this place. They have like everything. There's so many chemicals, uh, compounds, and so many glasswares and tools and equipment. And not only that, before we went to the laboratory, our teachers gave us a lot of information about um, warning signs, uh, like security. And that's what we don't know. Uh, what That's what I don't know in Vietnam. When it's come to IT major, we have the computer room, which, which is there's a lot of computer you can use any any time you want, and there is a lot of software enough for you to study. Yeah. And by the way, when you come to Centia, you have the, an, an account, so you can download the software for yourself, for your laptop, so you can also do it at home as well. So Centria has a program called the Double Degree Program in Austria, and it will be another chance for me to discover, explore another country. And that Double Degree Program, I have, like, have searched a lot, and I feel like really interested in this 
uh, program because like if I join that double degree then I not only have one degree in that sorry in engineering but also one degree in science uh, so like that's why I choose this major and this school I don't I don't know just I think that this this country might be the good place for me and I think that um, Finnish people they have some like similar character like me so I like here. apartment and uh, my friends uh, said that uh, there was a lot of light outside and we just uh, came over there and saw that and it's quite very interesting uh, experience for the first time I saw it. I, I wanted to see it here because I like the, the air here even though it's very cold and it dark sometimes but it's good and it's, it's quiet. Here. They are very friendly, very nice, and sometimes I have a tough horse, they are always willing to help me. Yeah. Also, the uh, animals here, don't you think? You can easily see them swimming around and birds, birds flying on the skies. When I was uh, my, on my first day in here, I was really surprised because it was uh, 10 p.m., but I still can see the sun. One more thing about Finland because they have a very special sauna. Sauna, yeah, yes. sauna is a great part of Finnish culture. I feel completely safe. Uh, although I went home really late from my friend's house um, at about 2 a.m. I think, but I still feel really safe. I don't know, but in myself, I feel that there's nothing can harm me. Yes. I love Kshatriya. You mean the duck? Yeah. Yeah, not exactly the same this duck, but uh, you, you you get the reference. It's great the nature here. We don't have ducks swimming in the lakes in Vietnam because uh, for some reason, yes. Mm -hmm.